I am Chloe Rimei M. Isidro, a nursing student from Tarlac State University, and today we are going to perform the urinalysis using acetic acid. The primary purpose of this test is to detect if there are any presence of albumin protein in the urine as well as to detect the PIH in pregnant women. So the materials that are needed, two test tube, one test tube holder, alcohol lamp, and a match, acetic acid solution, 10%, and a urine sample. These tests need to undergo steps such as the assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. For the assessment, first is you need to assess if the urine is taken early in the morning, before meal, or midstream flow. So, ma'am, can I ask po if you take this urine po early in the morning, midstream flow, and before meal po? Okay. After that, for the planning, first is you need to prepare the place as well as all the materials that are needed throughout the procedure. For the implementation, first is you need to establish rapport. So you need to introduce yourself and explain to your client why it is necessary and why do you need to conduct the procedure. So, Good day, ma'am. I am Kawiri May Amisidro po, a student nurse of this hospital, and I will be the one po who will gonna conduct po the urinalysis using acetic acid. So, ma'am, this test po will help us po detect if there are albumin protein in your urine. Is, is that okay po, ma'am? Okay po. So, after that, we need to place the paper lining above the flat surface or above the table. Make sure that the Placement of the paper lining is clean side out. So we will place the paper, the plastic lining rather, and then we will place the paper lining above the plastic lining. Make sure that it is um, the placement is clean side in. So after that, we will now place the CHN bag. So we need to carefully put it above the paper lining and then we need to open the bag and then we need to take the apron the towel and the soap out of the bag so after that is we need to perform a thorough hand washing and we need to dry our hands as well as we need to put our apron so, in putting our apron, make sure to put it right side out. So, after that is we need to take the other material. So, we need to take the kidney basin with three cotton balls with alcohol, the dropper, the test tube, and the test tube holder. Make sure to put them inside the kidney basin we need to we also need to take the um, acetic acid near the kidney basin the place where we can put our test tube and the alcohol lamp and a match or a lighter so after that we need to place the waste receptacle and at one side of the workplace so we will place the waste receptacle here so to start with we need to light the um, alcohol lamp however due to some um, problems we will just use an alternative so we will just light the candles to heat the test tube so after lighting the candles we will now fill the test tube two-third full of urine. So, we need to slowly transfer two-third full of urine onto the test tube. After that, we need to heat the upper portion of the test tube by making sure that the mouth of the test tube is not facing the examiner or the patient. So, we need to heat the upper part onto its boiling point. So, 
after heating the upper portion of the test tube, we will now put 5 drops of acetic acid. By making sure that you need to drop, you need to drop, um, you need to drop it one at a time. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then, you need to place the used or discard dropper onto the waste receptacle. And then, you need to heat the test tube again. Make sure to heat the upper part and then the mouth of the test tube must not be facing any of the examiner or the patient. After heating the test tube, make sure to note for any um, change in color on the urine sample as well on the urine sample. Note for the indications such as the no turbidity, faint turbidity, heavy turbidity, and solid or opaque. So you need to assess your urine sample based on the indicators. After that, you need to turn off the lights. So, we will turn off the lights. And then, we need to um, wash the used articles and dry them. So... After washing the articles, make sure to perform a thorough hand washing. Dry your hands and then you need to um, put back all the materials that are used in the proper placement or in the bag. And then, you need to discard the waste receptacle onto its proper placement. And then, you need to remove your apron. Make sure that when you remove your apron, you removed it away from your body. So, away from your body. And then fold the contaminated part inside. Make sure to put the apron onto the pocket of your bag. And then we need to fold the lining. Discard the paper lining. And then, we need to fold the plastic lining wherein the contaminated part will be folded inside. And then, we need to put it in between our bag and its cover. Then, we need to close our bag. And then, we need to document all the results that are gathered. Uh, for the evaluation, make sure to educate your patient about the procedure and about the result that was gathered throughout the procedure. So, ma'am, based on the result that was gathered po, it shows that um, the urine sample po show no turbidity. So, it means po that um, A negative. So, um, that concludes for the test that we performed. So that ends the urinalysis using acetic acid. So the next test that we are going to perform is the urinalysis using Benedict solution. The primary purpose of this test is to detect if there are any presence of glucose in the urine. It is also a good indicator if, there are, if the patient has a diabetes mellitus. So, the materials that are needed 
toothpaste tube, one test tube holder, Benedict solution, alcohol lamp, match, and a urine sample. This test also needs to undergo steps such as the assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. For the assessment, you need to assess if the collected urine or the urine specimen is taken before meal, early in the morning, or midstream flow. So, ma, can I ask po kung nakuha niyo po ba tong um, urine na ito early in the morning, before meal, or um, in midstream flow po? Okay po. So, after that is you need to prepare the place as well as all the materials that are needed throughout the procedure. For the implementation, you need to establish rapport. So, good day ma'am. I am Koyuri May Amisidro po, a student nurse of this hospital. And I will be the one po who will gonna perform the urinalysis using Benedict solution. It will help us po ma'am detect if there are any presence of glucose in your urine po. Is that okay with you ma'am? Okay. So, after that is we need to place the plastic lining um, under, we need to place the plastic lining above the table. Make sure that the placement is um, clean side out. And then, we need to place the plastic paper lining above the plastic lining. Make sure that the placement is clean side in. And then, we need to place our bag above the paper lining. And then, we need to open our bag. We need to take the apron, a soap, and a towel outside the bag. So, we need to perform a thorough hand washing and dry our hands. And then, we need to put our apron. In putting our apron, make sure to put it right side out. After that, you need to prepare the other materials that are needed. So, you need to take your kidney basin together with three, al three cotton balls with alcohol, your test tube holder, your dropper, and your test tube away from your, or out of your bag. And then you also need to take the Benedict solution, alcohol lamp, and the um, match or lighter out of your bag. Also, you need to place the waste receptacle on the other side of your workplace area. So, to start with, we will now light the uh, alcohol lamp. However, due to some problems, we will just use um, candles to improvise it. So, we need to light it. And then, we need to put 6 to 8 drops of urine onto the test tube. Then, you need to discard the um, used um, dropper. And then, you need to put 3 to 5 ml of Benedict solution onto the urine. Put the Benedict solution inside the test tube together with the urine. Then discard. Then use the test tube holder to hold for the urine and the Benedict solution. And then light and then heat them for 2 minutes. Let it boil for 2 minutes. Or put it in a boiling water for 5 minutes. Make sure that when heating the test tube um, with the urine sample, the mouth of the test tube must not be facing the examiner and the patient. After boiling the test tube with the urine sample, let it first dry for one minute 
and then you need to um, assess if there are any changes in color based on the indicator. So, we will assess the urine sample if there are any change in color. So, the indicators are clean blue, bluish green, yellowish green, um, brick red, and orange. So, after assessing if the urine sample um, has changed in color, we can now um, turn off the fire. And then, after turning off the fire, we can now um, clean all the um, receptacles, um, thoroughly wash and dry all the receptacles that are used throughout the procedure. So, after cleaning all the receptacles, you can now perform a thorough hand washing and then dry your hands. And then, you need to, um, you need to put all of your things onto their proper placement or inside the bag. And then, you need to discard the waste onto its proper placement. And then, you need to start to remove your apron. Make sure to remove your apron away from your body. And then, fold the contaminated part inside. And then, put it inside your bag. Put it on the packet of, pockets of your bag. And then, we need to remove the paper lining and then we need to discard it. And then, we also need to remove the um, paper lining. Make sure to fold the contaminated part inside. And then, you need to place it in between your bag and its cover. So, after that, you need to document all of the results that are gathered throughout the procedure. For the evaluation, make sure to educate your patient on the result and on the procedure that was done. So, ma'am, we, uh, we have done a urinalysis using Benedict solution po. So, for the indicators po, ma'am, your urine po shows a brick red color po that indicates po that there are the possibility that you um, acquire a glucose in your urine so that ends the um that ends the urinalysis using benedict solution test <laughs>